Hey, how's it going? This is Ben, and uh, today I just want to talk to you about how we do our daily self-assessment in PE. Uh, you know, sometimes assessment can just be one of those things that you're um, trying to build in just because you know it's important, but it's really hard to fit it in somewhere. And this is a strategy that I found to be really easy and um, to work really well for our kids. And the way it works is every day on the way out of the gym, the kids will um, assess themselves on their grade by just touching their grade. So they're going to think about how they did in PE and then they touch the grade based on how they uh, feel like they did. And we're basically trying to shoot for a Hellison's model, if you've ever read that book of you know taking responsibility for what you do, teaching kids to um, be socially responsible and realize what they're uh, doing in class. And this helps you um, know if you're actually achieving that goal or not. So when kids are grading themselves, that's a great opportunity for you to ask questions like, well, tell me why you think you got to keep on trying, or tell me why you think you got a good job. Um, we have four options for our grades. We have a wow, good job, keep on trying, and need more effort. And um, the way that we uh, do this is we teach it at the beginning of the year, um, but now pretty much all of our kids know uh, how to do it since we've been doing it for a while. Um, and the way it works is uh, the good job is kind of what we want the kids to shoot for every day. And that just means that they were following the gym rules, they were setting a good example for the other class, other classmates. And um, WOW is kind of an extra challenge that we do each day. We'll give them either an individual challenge or if we play team games, um, the team that wins might get to hit the WOW or we might have some kind of team challenge, a teamwork game or something like that. Um, keep on trying would be if a student knows that they didn't do their best in class or if they know that they got a warning or they know that they were talking during instruction or something like that and then they need more effort that would be if a kid had to get a timeout. and um, this is a really just easy way to build an assessment with no paper and pencil at the end of class and uh, allows you to see if your kids really understand where they're at in class or not and um, it gives you some good opportunities to have some conversations with kids and have some teachable moments you know sometimes I might have a student that's discouraged they hit to keep on trying and then I'm like hey why did you do that and they're like well I wasn't very good at basketball and so that gives me an opportunity to talk to them about hey you know it's not about being the best it's about doing your best you know you don't have to be the most skilled person in class uh, we just want to make sure that you're always giving your 100 percent and that you're paying attention and, and trying to be the best version of yourself and so that's kind of what we're uh, trying to teach kids and this is a really great tool to do that. Uh, I have seen people use this as a group assessment, so if you want to bring your whole class down and have everybody vote on where they think they landed as a class on the assessment, um, you can do that. You can use an app like Class Dojo to help you do that as well. Uh, there's a lot of really cool variations of this kind of assessment out there uh, for either class assessment or individual assessment. We use it as an individual because we want to tie it to the student's individual grade and um, I don't want to you know, penalize a whole class just because of one or two students. Um, and so that's the way we do it, but you can uh, spin it however you would like it and make it work for your program. Um, that's our daily self-assessment. I uh, hope that works for you. I hope it's helpful. And thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.